Granger Smith is ready to embark on a new chapter. On Tuesday, the musician announced on his social media pages that he's leaving country music in order to focus on ministry at his local church outside of Austin, Texas. When his upcoming Like a River tour named for his three-year-old son River who died after a tragic drowning accident in 2019 kicks off April 13, it will serve as his farewell. Speaking to people exclusively about the decision, Smith says that he's excited to pour himself into his church after the tour comes to an end on August 26. Being a musician was never a prison, but this is a new passion, a new focus, a new direction that I believe is going to allow me to focus more on individual people and their lives, which is ultimately why I started music touring in the very beginning, he says. This is an even more micro-focused position in that. I'm not going anywhere. While preparing to make the announcement, Smith says he's been anticipating four different kinds of reactions to the news, the first group will say, Oh, praise God, that's amazing. What an example. The second group's going to say, Oh no, I'm going to miss your music. I'm going to miss your touring. The third group is going to say, Oh, go follow your little sky god. You're probably just making money that we don't know about as a preacher. Then the fourth group is going to go, Granger who? No one cares. That's why I just want to be as honest as I can, he explains. Currently working towards a master's degree from Southern Baptist Theological Seminary, Smith makes clear he's not Pastor Granger. I could deceive myself thinking, oh, I got a calling from God to go off and start a church, he says. That's like the equivalent of a young athlete in college going, I'm going to declare for the NFL draft. You need to learn under the players and the coaches until it's time, and then they'll all affirm that it's time to go into the NFL. In tandem with the announcement, Smith also revealed on Tuesday that his upcoming memoir, like a river, finding the faith and strength to move forward after loss and heartache, will be released on August 1st. It'll follow his emotional journey through the ups and downs after River's death. I remember turning in the manuscript for the first time, and I called my wife Amber, and I said, well, I'm about to send this manuscript out. There's no stopping it now. Like, you can't put the toothpaste back into the tube, he recalls. There's things in here that are extremely vulnerable. It's very personal. But the overwhelming feeling was that if my story could help others, then it's worth it, then it matters. It was important to Smith that he bill his final music tour the same title as his book. I don't want the tour to end and then all of a sudden, oh, now he's got a book, he says. I just want it to be very cohesive to the sentimental side of what this journey has meant not even River in terms of my son, River, but just the life River that we're traveling right now. I feel like these last few years I've really learned to surrender and just go with the flow and stop fighting against the stream that I did for so long in the music business and in life. Smith says that go with the flow mentality will extend into his tour, which will very much be about the fans. This tour's not about me, he says. This tour is going to be about the people that have supported me for so long. And, selfishly, I will enjoy it more if they're enjoying it more. I think they're going to enjoy it more if I just make it, hey, what's an old song we haven't done in a long time? Let's play that. Let's make sure that we get as many people on the stage as we can. Do you want to sing one of my songs? Has your dream always been to sing the chorus of my song? Come on up. Here's a microphone. I've done it a thousand times, now you get to do it. Though he struggled to do meet and greets in the time immediately after River's death, he's since F.O.